Hi everyone, let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. We have um, n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 equals 36. Now our target is to bring this to the left, so we now have n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 minus 36 equals 0 right and if you have this minus this to get zero it means that the whole of this should be equal to 36 right so let's write this 36 to be in the form of these two so we now have n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 minus 36 is the same thing as 27 plus 9 so this is equal to 0 if you open this bracket now you will have n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 minus 27 minus minus 9 equals 0 because the negative is expected to open the bracket now n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 minus 27 here is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3 then minus 9 is 3 to the power of 2 this is equal to 0 now what we are going to do is to rearrange so that this will come to this and this and this will get together right so our n to the power of 3 plus n to the power of 2 okay I'm supposed to just bring this and this together so no need for this step now right so we'll have n to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 this will be together then plus we'll have n squared n squared minus 3 squared both of them will be together and we equate them to zero here now we're having difference of two cubes and here we have difference of two squares. Imagine you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the same difference of two cubes, right? But this is the same as a minus b. Okay, then we have um, a squared plus ab plus b squared. So this alone is for the difference of two cubes. And then you know our regular difference of two squares. So now, this will be written in this form. A minus B will now be N minus 2. So I'll write N minus 2 into A squared will be N squared plus AB. That will be um, N times 3. And it's 3N. Then plus B squared, which will now be 3 squared. And it's 9. Then plus... I will now go straight to the difference of two squares where I will have n minus 3. Okay, as a matter of fact, this is supposed to be 3. n minus 3 into n plus 3. Then we equate everything to 0. Now, if you look at this 2, n minus 3 is present. Here again, n minus 3 is present. So it will come out as a common factor. Then here we have n squared plus 3n plus 9. Okay, let's have this in bracket and plus. This is already out here. So it is this that I will write n plus 3. Right? We equate everything to 0. Now to continue with this, we need to open the bracket here. So we have n minus 3, the common factor. Then if we open the brackets, everything here will be added to this. So n squared does not have a partner here. So n squared will come down. Then 3n plus this n will give us 4n. Then 9 plus 3 will give 12. This is equal to 0. From here now, it is either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. Because we are multiplying both of them to get 0 n minus 3 is 0 or n minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 plus 3 
Okay, what I've done is to add the additive inverse. Is to add the additive inverse of minus 3 to both sides. So n will now be equal to 3 because this and this will go. So this right here is one of the solutions. Now let's go over to this quadratic um, expression. We are going to equate it to 0 and it will give us a quadratic equation. So that means we are expecting two more solutions. Let's go there. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation now. And we are going to use the formula to deal with this. The formula is n equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Now, our n will now be minus b, which will turn to minus 4. This is because b is 4. Then, plus or minus, we have b squared. That will still be 4 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 12. This is because a is 1. This is because a is 1 and c is 12. Okay, so we'll divide everything by 2 times 1. A is still 1. Now, n will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 48. 4 squared is 16. 4 times 1 times 12 is 48. And we divide by 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, our n will now be minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 32 divided by 2 16 minus what 16 minus 48 is minus 32 so now our n will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 32 oh I left out the negative right so that means I'll multiply it by negative 1 then we'll divide the whole of this by 2 now, n is minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times 2. That is 32. Then, multiply by i. Square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So, we'll write i over there. And we'll still divide all of this by 2. So that n now will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. Then multiply by i, that will, will get 4i. Then we have root 2. This 2 here will still be under the root. Then we divide by 2. Now, this means that our n is minus 2 plus or minus 2i root 2. 2 will go into minus 2. 2 will go into minus 4 to give us minus 2. 2 into 4i will give us 2i. And this root 2 is coming down. This is a 2 in 1 solution because um, we have plus or minus. Now let's bring the three solutions together. We got n to be equal to 3 before. n again from here will be minus 2 plus 2i root 2. Then n from here again is minus 2 minus 2i root 2. So this right here. These are the solutions to the equation. We can call this n1, call this n2, and call this n3. If you have not subscribed, subscribe for more of my videos.